I, 40 meters, accidentally read a text of my partner's, 39F, and it is not great. I, 40 meters, went to use my wife's, 39F, phone to look up a recipe and after unlocking it the messenger app was open and was about divorce. I shouldn't have violated her space. I wasn't trying to. My phone was dead and I was trying to make dinner. But still I violated her space. Especially as I scrolled I get that. Please be gentle as I'm in a dark place right now. My relationship has been very strained lately. And we had a big fight two nights ago. Where I needed some short-term reassurance in our marriage before making a huge career decision. But ended up going through an internal checklist of every insecurity I had in our relationship. It was awful of me to do that. Today I grabbed her phone while making dinner and saw she had texted a recently divorced co-worker. About job offer I just received. The text I saw was. Wife's friend. You definitely don't want to move right now for custody reasons. But let's chat tomorrow at lunch. And. My wife. Sounds good. I panicked when I saw custody. So I scrolled up and saw. My wife. My name. Got offered a job. Three states over. But we might be heading towards divorce. Not sure what to do career wise. Wife's friend. Yeah. I understand that sadly. My wife. I hate that I'm in this situation. I have tried to avoid it for the past two years. But I think it's inevitable at this point. This friend came up in conversation an hour later as my wife was exploring career moves to mesh. With mine and my wife denied wanting to talk to her about divorce at all. I don't know what to do. Our relationship is coming out of a bad place. But we have made amazing progress and are doing pretty good. A long way to go. I have never had my wife lie to me before so this is earth shattering to me as much about the notion that she feels divorce might be inevitable. Does this mean we are headed for divorce? Or just that she feels helpless in the moment? We had just had a big for us fight as I work through mental health issues. Please help. What's been going on for the last two years? Question mark. Our relationship is coming out of a bad place. But we have made amazing progress and are doing pretty good. Are you sure you've made progress? Or did she just stop fighting for it to be better? It's very common that when one partner gives up and is ready to end the relationship. The other partner thinks things are getting better because they're fighting less. Did you accept that job offer? Was that what the big fight was about? Expecting your wife to move three states over when your relationship is in a bad place is not helping. I'm not saying that is your fault or you're to blame. Just. I wouldn't want to move three states away. Have distance from my support system. And give up my own job all for a relationship that isn't in a good place. That's a scary place to be and if things were already rocky. I can see that being the final nail in the coffin. Did you acknowledge that when you brought up potentially moving? It means she's not moving states and neither are your kids because states love keeping jurisdiction over children. If you accept this job offer know that you will become the holiday, summer parent and mostly you will be embarking on this new chapter alone. You might be able to salvage the marriage if you turn down the job. For what it's worth I wouldn't leave states for a rocky marriage either. I have a friend that had a great job. Corporate NY lawyer. A husband and two beautiful kids. Her husband got an amazing job offer in Arizona of all places. She moved for him. About a year after they got there. He filed for due and she is stuck. She passed the AS bar and has a good job. But she is removed from her entire support group. Parents. Etc. Dot. It probably hurt to read what you did but your wife is right for thinking about these issues. It's time to have an open conversation. No judgment. To offer any kind of support or advice. We'd need far more detail than what's provided here. What's been happening the last two years. 
And what progress have you been making? You're giving us the information of your wife's texts. But not the information of the insecurity checklist you proffered to her. Are you working through your mental health issues with a professional? Because that's not your wife's job and puts stress on her as well. There's a lot of accountability being dodged in the post. Also, if you'd read her texts after this emotionally charged conversation, she isn't going to believe it was an accident just like I and other readers don't. So you might as well tell her the truth. It's over bro. You have finally pushed her to far. Things seem better because she has moved on emotional. Looks like you are going to have to start solving your mental health issues on your own instead of fighting with your wife. I recommend couples therapy focused on co-parenting. Sounds like you need to talk to your wife and tell her what happened with the phone. Be honest with her and try to find a way to do so without accusations or judgment. I would recommend approaching her as a concerned spouse trying to fight in a way to make things work. No one can tell you what is going to happen. But it sounds like she doesn't want to move. This is a complicated situation. You say your relationship is coming out of a bad place yet you say the relationship is strained and you two just had a huge fight. So which is it? Have you been doing couples counseling? What are the key issues and what are each of you doing to resolve them? I think that if the relationship isn't in a good place then it makes sense that when faced with a major move where she'd be away from her support and have to quit her job that she'd be reevaluating the relationship very seriously. If she moved and then you two divorced, then she's stuck states away from friends and family because she can't leave with your mutual child. So her saying, we may be headed towards divorce, seems like a person who is being very practical. Based on the state of the union, not that she wants a divorce or that she's filing, just that she's worried things aren't going to work out. I think you keep it to yourself. Talk to your therapist. And in the future, don't use her phone. Seriously. I have conversations with my friends that my partner wouldn't appreciate at times and vice versa. Being able to bounce things off of a trusted friend can be helpful. And all that said, I know couples who came to the brink of divorce but put the work in and pulled through. I also know people, like me, who wanted the marriage to work and turned themselves inside out and upside down and the only regret is not having divorced sooner. It's hard to save a marriage when both parties aren't trying in good faith. You clearly think things are going better than she does which makes me think you're not paying attention. If you two aren't doing couples therapy already then set it up. Lastly I'll tell you that big moves are stressful. And usually more so for the trailing spouse. I've moved 26 times within the US, Europe, or Africa for my job or my partner's job. The first big move is by far the hardest emotionally and often logistically as well as you have no experience to fall back on. I could rattle off a quick checklist for people now of what to do, when, and how when it comes to moving your family but, it's still stressful. So if you two aren't in a pretty solid place, and she is worried about the future, I probably wouldn't take that job unless you plan to go alone. Honestly, what you read from your wife doesn't seem to be out of line. You are having a tough time together and need to make a big life decision and she is trying to process with the help of her friend. My suggestion would be to tell your wife what happened. Admit you scrolled a bit when you shouldn't have. Share that you are worried about divorce as well and that you would like to talk with her about it. It sounds like you too could use some marriage counseling with a focus on clear and kind communication with each other. You won't avoid a divorce by getting mad at each other for considering it. Considering it is a good barometer that there are things in your relationship that you need to improve. Okay op, what's been going on the last two years? You're leaving some stuff out. Talk to your wife but also be prepared that this is the end. 
Will this new job move improve your ability to provide for yourself and pay child support? Will you be able to file for full custody and have a better situation for your kids? Are you willing to stay and co-parent? Will staying affect you financially that you won't be able to meet your obligations? Find a marriage counselor to talk these things through and maybe offer a compromise. You take the job. Y'all promise to go to counseling there for one year to make it work and then after that year. You sit down and look over everything as a family and decide whether the move was good and or if. The marriage should end. As someone whose relationship is just doing out a two plus years of struggle. I need to you to read closely. You believe that things were, are better. Not that they really are better. My husband would be absolutely shocked that he almost pushed me past my breaking point. I would try and explain how and why I was struggling and was told it wasn't that bad and it could be worse. Thugs between us are better. But only because he has made changes. Maybe acknowledge for real what you've done for years. My wife denied wanting to talk to her about divorce at all. So did you ask your wife if she had mentioned divorce to her friend after seeing the messages? Our relationship is coming out of a bad place. But we have made amazing progress and are doing pretty good. A long way to go. What reality are you living in? You just said you had a huge fight two nights about where you were terrible to your wife. Your delusion is drowning your marriage. Wake up, buddy. Two years of being in a bad place is a killer. Being blind to the state of your marriage is a killer. Moving on top of all that? Well, only you know if your marriage is actually salvageable. If it is, you cannot do it alone. On top of that, IDK if moving now is a good idea. Marriage counseling time. It sounds like neither of you are eager to get divorced. But both are seeing it as a likely outcome. This can be solved. If you are both committed to solving it. You need to be honest with yourself. You looked at her phone to snoop. Not to look up a recipe. None of us are buying that lame excuse. You had a huge fight a few nights prior. Then you snooped because you feel insecure. Since you won't be honest with us. At least be honest with yourself. What has life been like the last two years? That will help better understand why your wife wants out. You really haven't given enough info about the nature of your disagreements what does she say her? Problem is with your marriage? Was there something that happened that started the trouble between the two of you? What happened two years ago? There's a lot of information missing. You've alluded to an extended rough patch for two years and then it seemed to have a considerable blow up recently. But you haven't really said what's been going on in those two years. You've been vague about mental health issues. So it's obvious there's been some pretty heavy things going on for those two years. If she's been trying to push through but then the blow up happened. It shouldn't be a huge surprise about her mentioning divorce. Depending on if you guys actually communicate or you have taken active steps consistently to get a hold of your issues. Divorce might be a better option. She also might not want to talk about it all now if she's still trying to see if that's what she wants. People have a limit. You say things have been amazing but have they? Or has she just stopped bringing things up? So what's been going on in the last two years? I think you're heading towards divorce. She's not seeking advice. If she's got the job offered. She's just seeking reassurance that she's doing the right thing. When I finally made the decision about my marriage. I was able to have a more civil relationship with my then wife. But it was only because I knew what my path was. If you enjoyed this video. Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.